Okay, so let's make a vocab frame. To make a vocab frame, you're going to need to start with your ePortfolio. You'll know you're in your ePortfolio because it will be highlighted in this black bar here. In my ePortfolio, I'm going to work as if I am in the 7GTT class. So I'm going to select my 7GTT page. My page already has a lot of content blocks on them. Uh, your page may be kind of blank, but the process is still the same. Let's begin by adding a content block. There are many different types of content blocks. The one we'll be using today, and for all vocab frames, is going to be the images content block. The block title should be the same as the vocabulary word that's shown on the Google Calendar for today. The, num the word we'll be working with today, according to our calendar, is going to be numerator. Be sure to select all images on page, and then click Next. It's going to ask for us to upload an image file to help us describe the word numerator. To do that, I'm going to open up a new tab and search for numerator images on Google. I feel like this is a really good representation of numerator, so I'm going to use the right-click option and save image as. Be careful to not select save link as because that will give you an HTML file and it won't upload. So double check, save image as. When you download things on the Chromebook, it will go much easier for you. Since I'm on the MacBook Pro, it wants to send files to different places. When you click to save, you should see the, your file download into your downloads bar. Let's go back to our ePortfolios and select Choose Files. I happen to put my numerator image onto the desk, desktop. Yours will be in your Files folder of your Chromebook and it should pop up automatically. The file you selected should show up in your To Be Uploaded box. When you see your file, go ahead and click Upload. You can watch your image as it uploads. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. The next thing we have to include is a definition in our own words of what the numerator is. Okay. Then you can either use the word numerator in a sentence or you can insert a bulleted list of some examples. I'll go for the bulleted list this time. Just a few examples. And down here where it says enter caption here, you need to go back to the vocab list. Find the word you're looking for. Here it is, numerator. And carefully take just the teacher definition and copy it and paste it into the caption. Sometimes this alternate box will pop up. It says I have security settings. It says paste what you want inside the box. That's just fine. It works all the same. 
So let's double check and make sure I have all the required elements. I have my block title in the top. In the short description I have my sentence or my definition. Here's my sentence or my list of examples. We make sure that we have it set on all images on a page. Our image is here and our teacher definition is down here. Then your content block should show up on your GTT page or if you're in design and modeling it'll show up in your design and modeling page. You can drag and move these to rearrange them however you see fit. If it doesn't look right you can always go to this arrow to manage the block, click edit, and you'll be back into these windows and make sure that you have all your settings done correctly.